A neighborhood locked down tonight and searched for 13 hours, but tonight, a week later, and still a mystery about a possible child abduction in the West Valley. MCSO trying to clear the air about what happened there and why officers searched so desperately for a child that was never to be found. And there was a community meeting tonight, and ABC 15's Joe Bartels was there. And Joe, a lot of people upset tonight because of how this search was handled. Yeah, Stephanie, we are just feet away from where cops had this whole area shut down. There was roadblocks right here at Olive and Cortesa Parkway. They searched trunks. They searched back seats. They really searched everything after a scary report of a child being snatched from their bike. 9.20 a.m., December 9th, two independent child witnesses report another child between four and eight years old is abducted, swiped in broad daylight, and tossed into a white van. Immediately, MCSO pulls out everything they have. The more hours, the more minutes that go by, the, the likelihood of that child surviving, the likelihood of us finding that child is very minimal. It was an intense search from the air, on the ground, and even door to door. We were... Confronted by five different <laughs> sheriffs, police officers, detectives. Mary Dixon lives near the reported abduction. Right. She says law enforcement came into her home without a warrant. They looked under beds, they looked in trash cans, they looked outside. I mean, you name it, they covered it. Mary came to a public meeting along with 50 other people to get answers about the searches and the mystery around the case. MCSO says they didn't need a warrant. But in this case, in cases like this where Supreme Court has said the exigency overrules anything that's going on as long as we do, it's a reasonable search. Investigators told worried parents the reported abduction is very similar to another case in the West Valley, and that, coupled with two witnesses, ramped up the urgency. So where do we go from here? MCSO says they really have no reason to discredit or not believe the two children that came forward with that report. So they are still asking for leads. They're still following up on leads and reports of white vans in the area. So they're going to continue working this case. And they haven't ruled out uh, circumstances like maybe a, a custodial uh, disappearance or a custodial uh, kidnapping. And so they have to really track it down and see if there is a child, in fact, in danger or not in danger. They said they're going to continue working this case. Joe, thank you.